Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week four of FWL, Chicago Bear Ticks taking on the, the, oops, um, it's Coach uh, Vilum the Gloom, and I believe it is the, um, dum 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 rufflers, don't remember the city, but it's the rufflers. So, as you can see, uh, they brought, oof, they didn't bring a lot of the stuff we thought. Uh, Scrafty's good to see, um, Agron's good to see, Azelf is good to see. Those three we all projected and predicted for. Um, Tapufini we didn't predict coming. Early test runs, like I said, in Team Builder we thought about it. Never considered Porygon, never considered... Uh, Never considered the um, da -da 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 Vanillux. Very glad not to see Salamance. Like, very, very glad to not to see Salamance. Um, I'm going to stick with my team lead of Electros. Um, that Mega Aggron is a huge pain in the butt. We don't have much to deal with it. Um, so we're going to have to lead... The plan is to lead Electros, Super Fang against... That if it sets up rocks, then... Just Super Fang, and now that I see P2, it's going to be very, very crucial that we keep Electros healthy and Super Fanging to keep that thing from recovering on us. Um, here's the Scrafty. That's the problem. We didn't want to see the Scrafty. He is an Intimidate Scrafty, so I don't have to worry about Moxie. I don't want to get knocked off and lose my Assault Vest because Assault Vest allows me to chip up on the Azelf. So I think we're going to go into Garchomp. Take the knockoff that's coming. No, fake out. So he's going to take the rough skin. Then if he wants to knock me out, that's fine. I'm going to Earthquake. I know that Vanillux is coming out, or Tapu Fini's coming out, so there's no point in dropping a Z. Actually, I'm going to Poison Jab, because um, Vanillux and Fini resist that. He might bring out Azelf to take the EQ, potentially. Whereas Poison Jab hits neutral on the Vanillux, and it does big, big damage to that Feeny. Um, and this thing doesn't want to take multiple Poison Jabs, probably. And then if he tries to knock off, he's going to find I'm Z-Crystal, which unfortunately means he knows I'm Z instead of Scarf Chomp. Um, but being Z-Chomp... Um, will definitely be helpful because once Tapu Fini goes down, I drop the nuke on whatever. If he goes into Agron here, I'm going to be really questioning why because I could have dropped an Earthquake. So P Jab is the play. Ocean Man. <laughs> there we go. Um, Tapu Fini. I'm just going to run the Calcs real quick. My Garchomp versus the Tapu Fini. Garchomp. Custom set versus Tapu Fini. Sorry, it's really cold. <laughs> I'm shivering because it's cold in my room, and my parents refuse to turn the heat on, so I'm a little, a little cold. Uh, Poison Jab only did 35%, so this has to be a very defensively invested Fini. Um, we're just going to cut it out of speed right now because that's what the showdown's showing. Um, so, can't be, can't, can't even be timid nature. This has got to be bold. Bold nature plus defense. Minus attack. Yeah, bold nature. So from a bold nature, I still take 73% from a moon blast. I do outspeed. Another poison jab would be good on this. Another option would be to roll into um, eel. I think I'm going to take the chip damage. I'm going to poison jab. 
and then roll into eel and try and switch around a little bit. Um, if this thing has ice beam, I think it gets ice beam. Ice beam does 93% so at max, so it would kill. Mm, this thing's probably got ice beam. So I think I'm going to just forgo another poison jab, go into eel. Let this thing hit me however it wants. He doubles out into digital style. That's fine. He is analytic because he didn't download and he didn't trace. So he's analytic. So Porygon 2. Assuming a defensive tank. Not against my Garchomp, against my Eel. Custom Eel. So Super Fang will get rid of... Um, yeah, Super Fang will take him down in half. And then... Volt Switch. Um, God, I'm cold. Then I'll Volt Switch into Conkeldur. So we're going to Super Fang... Here. It's not Trace Analytic. I am slower, so he's not going to get the Analytic boost. That's fine. Here comes the Scrafty. He intimidates me. That's fine. And go right back into Garchomp. That way, if he wants to fake me out, he takes the fake out to the face from Garchomp. Or takes more damage, just continuing to whittle down that... Scrafty. If he's got Ice Punch, then I'm in trouble. He knocks off. That's fine. He takes the damage. He knows I'm not carrying an item. Last time he went into the Feeny. There's no reason not to predict the Feeny coming back in and poison jabbing again. Let's just see what Garchomp with my custom set does to a Scrafty. Yeah, I know I'm calcing a lot, just because, um, uh, yeah, P-Jab. Might as well just P-Jab, um, predicting something else to want to come in, because P-Jab does, two P-Jabs kill him, um, and he hasn't wanted to go into, um, I mean, Earthquake gets him. Earthquake high roll gets him. Feeny... I'm going to Poison Jab. It's just better to Poison Jab. He did stay in. That's fine. He does Ice Punch. He's going to take the Rough Skin and die. Garchomp's hit hurt pretty bad. Granted, I don't need Garchomp really for much more in this match. Um, I have coverage to get rid of that Tapu Fini um, and Scarf Ninetales as well. Um, if I can get rid of that Vanillite, Scarf Ninetales actually puts in a ton of work this match. Yeah, here comes the Azelf. Uh, we're just going to go into the Mandibuzz. If this is Z, that's fine. I don't need Mandibuzz really for this match other than to keep rocks off the field, which is fine. Oh, what's this draw in? Probably the Feeny would be my guess, which is fine. Um, if this is Z with Ferium Z, we at least... Well, now the question is, do I double back into Garchomp and burn the Fairy Z? I'm really tempted to double back into the Garchomp and burn the Fairy Z. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because Garchomp really does not do... I mean, it's good for Aggron. It's, it hits the Aggron hard, but I have Conkeldur that can drain punch against it. It can... P-Jab the Feeny, but Beedrill takes care of that. Ninetales can freeze-dry it. Eel can Volt Switch on it and Giga Drain it. So Garchomp, I think, as much as I don't want to do it, Garchomp, I think, is a good sack play here. I don't have... I mean, no, because I haven't used the nuke yet. Maybe not. I'm just going to Air Slash. If he kills Mandibuzz, that's fine. Nope, he goes into Ocean Master. That's fine. Okay. That obviously to me screams that he is carrying Ice Beam. So I'm going to go right back into Electros.
I know it's obvious because I've gone into Electros the other time this thing came in, and it's it's the safe switch. But I'd rather put Electros out here on the Assault Vest so I take the special hit. I don't really care. Yeah, that tickled. Special attack drop hurts, but now I can threaten with... Like, there's no reason for me not to Super Fang. What happened the last time we went into this? Electros. He brought in... He brought... Okay, so the last time this happened, he brought in... Porygon. I'm fine if he wants to try and bring Porygon in. I'm just going to Super Fang because it puts Ocean Master in range. I'm pretty sure it puts Ocean Master in range. Uh, tap... No, he's going to digital style. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's good Good damage on that. Actually, he could be slower than me. Um, eel. Oops, not 33. Eel. Electros custom set versus the Porygon 2. I mean, I could just Volt Switch. Uh, I don't want a fast switch, though. Do I? I haven't seen what this thing wants to do, so I don't know if I want a fast Volt Switch. I think I'm just going to Super Fang again. That's fine. I Tickles. Ice Beam. Giga Drain to recover some of that health. Because Giga Drain will do about 13%, giving me about 6% back. Um, his Ice Beam did 15 Yeah, he's going to recover. That's fine. You want to recover, stall me. I will super fang your recovers down. I just have to keep a few. I'm going to have to keep like five super fangs just so I can deal with. Um, it's fine, the tickles. He's going to recover. I'm just going to volt switch on the recover and go right into Conkelder. Yeah. He's, he's going to play the recover game. That's fine. I don't care. Time for Conkelder to come out. Conkelder is carrying the assault vest. We Oh, I forgot Conkelder had poison jab. <laughs> nice. I forgot about that. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded the team builder. We've had this team set for a few days now. I have no reason not to drain punch. Um, nothing. Even if the Azelf comes in, drain punch plus mock punch. Drain plus drain punch. Punch plus two mock punches kills the A's elf. So there's absolutely no reason the Vanillux doesn't want to take this. The Agron will not want to take this. Ocean Master comes in. That's fine. Drain Punch resisted. That's fine. Uh, Conk. Conk Helder custom set versus Tapu Fini. Defen We're just going to go with defensive because I know he's defensive. Um, he's not timid. He's bold, I'm guessing. Moonblast does 53% to me. Poison Jab does 56 Poison Jab will be a big roll to kill here, depending on his spread. I don't think that's right because he's got defensive investment in him. It's still going to do a hefty chunk to him, even if he's like not max defense, but decently defensive. Still does close to 42% to him. Or still does close to 50% to him. It's fine. Uh, tickles, another one doesn't kill me. 14%. Mock Punch only does 10. I kind of need Conkelder, so I don't want to risk it. Mandibuzz. Custom set. Takes... Takes, uh, 50%, 58%. Oh, Eel. What am I doing? I'm just gonna switch into Eel, because Eel takes... Eel eats this, that's fine. Moonblast me, that's fine. I'll just Giga Drain. Recover a little health. I cannot let Eel go down, though, until Agron goes down. So I'm gonna have to watch my Eel switching in. 
Um, it's good that I'm keeping Garchomp here to sack it. But with that Porygon being able to roost, or rest up on me, or uh, recover up on me, I have to keep... Okay, yeah, he crit me. That matters. That crit actually mattered. Um, what did my Garchomp poison jab do last time? Thirty-five percent, and I'm faster. So, P jab will kill Ocean Master here. There's no point in not P jabbing. He can't be faster than me and still be this bulky. Come on, Garchomp. Um, losing Eel, that's a problem. Like, I have some issues beating that Agron now. Um, now that that's taken a hit. That Agron is becoming scary. I cannot let Garchomp be sacked off now. Because I need to get an Earthquake off on that. I need to get an Earthquake off on that uh, Agron. Ben and Jerry, that's fine. I see that coming in. Um, ice move is pretty obvious. Vanilla Lux. Let's assume he's a Specs Vanillux. Um, versus my B drill. God, if he specs on Beedrill dies too. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna have to go into Nine Tails, which is gonna draw the Agron. Problem is, is if he goes for Flash Cannon, predicting Nine Tails to come in. But if he's choice locked and he goes for like Blizzard or something. God, this vanilla looks is scary. Um, Conk. Conk Helder. Uh, I just need a little bit of damage on it and Conk Helder can uh, one shot it with Mach Punch. Um, I can't let. I can't let Garchomp go down. Actually, he'd have to be... If he's... The question is, is he scarfed or is he... Um, is he scarfed? Or is he... Um, Ice Shard. Ice Shard still kills me. So... It's too risky. Um, I think I have to let Mandibuzz go down. Mandibuzz, I have to let Mandibuzz go down. And we'll see if he's Specs or not. He's not Specs. Not Specs. Mandibuzz, custom set versus this Vanillux. Blizzard. Blizzard would have killed me if he was Specs. Vanillux. Scarf. He's Scarfed. He's Scarfed Vanillux. Okay. So Scarf Vanillux 282. 1.5. 423, so he actually beats Beedrill. He does beat. He's faster than Beedrill. That's good. He's we know he's scarfed. He's stuck into Blizzard now. I'm gonna let Mandibuzz go down. And then bring in Conkelder to immediately threaten. I am gonna roost in case he switches. He's gonna just take down that. That's fine. Go into Conk. Conkelder. Um versus my Conkelder. He cannot beat me and drain punch will kill him and i recover everything drain punch is going to hit anything he brings in hard he's scarfed he's scarfed 
Vanillax. That's good to know. Whatever he brings in does not accept for Azelf, does not appreciate this. So anything outside of, yeah, Azelf. And that still does a good chunk. I get some recovery. He takes some damage. Azel. Azel versus Beedrill. Beedrill kills with X Scissor. Fire. If he's carrying Fire Blast, he's gonna kill me with that. Um. Psychic. Fuck, Psychic kills that too, so... I cannot let Garchomp go down. I need Garchomp. Ninetales taking a hit here. Ninetales. Custom set. Psychic two shots. Blizzard does enough damage. Like, well, it doesn't matter. I'm Scarfed. I'll kill him. So here comes Ninetales. He's psychics. He's really offense. He's life orb. Okay, he's super offensive. Um, God, I know Agron's coming, but I gotta, I gotta do something. I ha, I can't, I can't HP ground because if he stays in, he's gonna know I'm Scarf now. The second I do this, we're gonna launch a Blizzard and kill that thing. Yes. He knows I'm Scarfed, so he knows I'm going to have to run out of here with uh, Ninetales. Because he's going to bring in um, Agron. Agron's going to take down... Oh god, he can set rocks on Agron and I'm dead. Like, Ninetales can't take an... only gets to come in one more time. I do outspeed that. God, I wish I had HP Fire now over HP Ground. That Vanillux is going to be the problem. All right, give me the Agron. Beedrill. Um, Custom Mega versus a Vanille. A Scarf. vanilla -ish. Yeah, here comes Agron. We knew this was coming. Um... So that's that is gonna be an issue. Um because he's scarfed, he gets to hit me first. So I'd have to hit him on a switch, he'd have to hit me, then I have to hit him again. So that's the only way is I have to damage that Vanillush. Versus Porygon. Two does absolutely jack diddly like he can recover up on me whereas Conkelder can do more so unfortunate as unfortunate as it is I have to sack off Garchomp here I need I need Beedrill to or do I need Beedrill no because he's gonna set rocks if I don't get Chomp in he's gonna set rocks he has no reason not to he knows I'm scarfed at this point He's going to set his rocks because rocks take down nine tails, gets one more switch, and Beedrill gets limited. So we're going to go here. If he attacks me, good play on his part. If he sets rocks, oh, he rock polished. Um, 218 18 times 1.5. I hit my number lock key. I did 1.5. Equals 327. I'm faster, so I can at least chip this thing down before I go. Um, Ag, Agron, Mega, Defense. Uh, he's not defensive, I know that. He's carrying speed on him. Let's just say he is jolly 
just for shits and giggles, so he's at 218. Garchomp. Custom set. Z Outrage does less than Earthquake, so I have to, uh, Earthquake. I don't get to drop the nuke. If he goes, yeah, we Earthquake. He's faster? He can't be faster than me. There's no way. There's no way. I'm at 330. 218 is his max. 218 times 1.5 is 327. There's no way he's faster. There's no way he's faster. Something's wrong here. Uh, did I just get swept by this thing? Con Kelder. Custom set. I'm gonna get freaking swept by this. Okay, well, he only does, uh, no, because I'm, I'm looking at, I gotta see what he's got for if he's max attack. Ooh, Heavy Slam does 51%. But I do 51 back with Drain Punch, and then I do 27, so he's gonna be really hurting. Then Nine Tails might be able to clean. It's fine. Ooh, only does 46, so he's got. He has to. Have, okay, so he only did four. Oh no, that was a mid roll. Okay, yeah. So now I just mock punch. Uh, this Vanillux beats me though. Scarf Vanillux. Twenty-four percent. So I'm on the low side with that. Um, he's gonna outspeed B drill, unfortunately. B drill, custom. He outspeeds B drill and he kills me with either of his attacks. Um, nine tails. I am faster than him with nine tails. HP ground is a roll. Thirty-two percent. I have an eighty-seven point five percent guarantee to Oko this. I have a six out of seven or seven out of eight chance to Oko with this thing. But he oh no. Because he's faster than Chomp, he's faster than this. No, he's not. I'm at 496. He's at 436. I outspeed. That's fine, because Beedrill can come in and chip things away. And he loses his, uh... He loses his thing. Okay, please, hacks... Gods, Haxorus, if you're out there listening to me, Arceus, if you're out there listening to me, I have a 7 out of 8 chance to win this game, or at least take down this Aggron. Please, please let me take down this Aggron. No! 
I min rolled! I absolutely min rolled! I could not afford a min roll, and that's what I got. I needed that to kill because if Ninetales stays alive, I can switch it out. I can deal with the other stuff. I cannot deal with a scarfed. A scarfed vanilla, because I can't deal with. Fuck! Damn, at least it's only a 2-0 or a 1-0 if I take down this Porygon, but fuck. I'm so mad about this, because we prepped and we had this thing set. We were ready for a Garchomp. We were ready for Feeny. We were ready for... We knew... We didn't think Porygon was coming at all. We were ready for an offensive Azelf. We were... The only thing I can think of is if he thinks I'm max speed... B drill and he's scared of that and so he doesn't bring in Vanillix hoping to beat me with Porygon 2 which I can beat oh, I fucking min rolled I fucking min rolled I needed nine tails there because having nine tails against that stupid because I would having nine tails there I needed nine tails I needed nine tails to guarantee at least a 1-0 loss because he could have switched his Vanillux around to get Flash Cannon as his primary move. So, Beedrill, Mega versus Porygon. Two. Two shots with Poison Jab or X Scissor, but he recovers up on me. He just he's gonna recover up on me. God damn! All I have to do is Poison Jab and pray for a poison. And he sets up Reflect. Which guarantees he lives another one. Because I only do 21 max, so he's just going to start recovering. I knew letting... Electros go down it was bad. I just have to keep P jabbing. I'm gonna force him into recovering. Yeah, so I gotta pray for a poison at this point. He's just trying to chip me down with hail now. So I just I gotta stall out the reflect and just keep P jabbing. Praying for a poison and praying to break down his recovers because I'm going to force him into recovering. The only problem is I believe Ice Beam beats me. He's, uh, he's going to beat me. Sorry guys, this is going to be a loss. There's nothing, unless I crit through... Unless I crit right now, like, a crit poison jab does 64% max, does 54% min, so I'd get him. I have to get a crit here. And then his, uh, scarfed, um, Vanillux comes in. Not getting into this with you, Lim. I I have to pray for a crit at this point because a crit poison jab will take down digital style and at least give me a 1 0 instead of a 2 0. So I didn't get the crit. He ice beams. I live on three, but the oh, the hail ended, so I live. 
Now I P-jab and take this thing out, and then he cleans up with a scarfed vanilla X. Switch, switch, be stupid and switch. Oh, are you kidding me? Fuck off with that. Fuck off with that. Fuck off with that! He lives on 1%. Two absolute min frickin' rolls. I min rolled the poison jab on that. Two frickin' min rolls in a row. This game. Give me back the Agron min roll. Give me the min roll there, and it's a 1 0, not a 2 0. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm 2 and 2, plus 3, so we're even and we're plus differential. It's good. We'll try to pick it back up in week three. I don't know if Loom's going to give me anything to check out below. Check him out down below if he did. If there's nothing there, check out the normal stuff. My Twitter, my Twitch, my uh, Discord server, all the usual stuff I say. Just check that out. I'm so frustrated by that because, like, two min rolls and it's a 1-0 instead of a 2-0. I'm not salty that I lost. I knew I was going to lose once... Things started going the wrong way for me. The problem with for me is the fact that I min rolled twice, and it's the game we play. I know it's the game we play. It just it pisses me off because I had a chance. I had a chance to make it a 1-0 instead of a 2-0, and I min rolled twice. Had he brought so just for clarification, I'm gonna do my calcs real quick. Turn the music down. Or actually just turn the music off. Just gonna run the calcs real quick. My custom set nine tails versus his. Um, Vanillish. His scarf vanillish. Actually, I need to look and see what it does to Beedrill. He would have to blizzard me in order to deal with. B drill. He could not flash cannon because he would die to two poison jabs and flash cannon and that's with reflect though. He would die to two potentially one poison jab or X scissor, so he could not do that. He had to blizzard me to two, try and two shot me. Then he'd be locked into blizzard. I could bring in nine tails. Custom set. He Doing Blizzard does 30% to me. I Moonblast and clean up. Or Moonblast and... Yeah, Moonblast would clean him up that way. Otherwise, if I didn't Moonblast, he'd be forced to bring in Porygon 2. So, Porygon 2. Let's just assume defensive tank, even though I know that's not the set. Porygon 2 would only take 19% from Alola Ninetales Moonblast. Granted, I could let Alolan Ninetales go down. Um, and bring in... Bring in Beedrill, and Beedrill could just hit it over and over and over and over again. Um, yeah, so that game was in my reach. I just... That stupid min roll against the Agron is where I lost that match. Um... GG to uh, Vilum. I got no hard feelings against you. I'm not mad at you if you're watching this. I am legit salty about the min roll. That's it. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Check everything down below. I'll catch you guys next week for week five. We'll try to pick up a win and get moving forward. See you guys next time.